<laughs> You're live. All right, today we will be. Ma oh, well, first off, welcome back. Uh, sorry about ghosting everyone there on Thursday and Friday. We actually had people bring us meals, uh, so that was nice. And then uh, shout out to one of the fans who gave me this hat. I'm not a Virginia Tech fan at all, sadly. I'm a pit guy, but. I do have a, ca uh, a cat addiction. A hat addiction. A hat addiction. <laughs> and a cat addiction. Yeah, maybe a cat addiction, but definitely a hat addiction. So I How went many ahead cats and took it. makes you a cat addict? I'm going to say more than... Three or more. I, th I would say three or more. Three is like the edge. And we're at four right now. And you want... You always... Oh, wait. Okay, just continue. Okay, so we're making a coconut curry wonton noodles with some zucchini, carrots, and a poblano pepper. So... Let's just get down to prepping our, first we have water boiling, obviously. We're also going to need two. What is this thing you're reaching in, your little honey pot? Yep, it's my honey pot. No, is this it? is, um, I want to get like two nicely side. Oh, that's a big boy. We'll do these two. Uh, this is a garlic uh, holder. Typically the garlic holder is going to have a bunch of holes in it, but keep it dark. So to give it air, but keeps it dark, keeps the garlic fresh. So, cool. all right, so first we will do zucchini. I've already cleaned, obviously, all this. We're gonna medium dice this bad oh, boy. Nice. So, I'm just gonna do it like this. Call it a day. Okay, okay. Yeah, and so I guess you guys now know why I haven't been cooking lately able to cook as much some of us have been feeling a little bit sick that's nice but it's great it's but, but she has been feeling sick so all right i'm gonna pull, pull put this bad boy up to 8.1 and we're venting right now oh, just in case can we not well we don't know what's gonna happen the fans love it when it goes wild no i don't though <laughs> All right, so we'll continue with the carrots. Take off the- Horse carrots. Horse carrots? Who said that? That's what I said. Dang. So, a lot of people say to take off the skin or, you know, like, what is it called? Peel. Peel a carrot, uh, because the inside is the tasty part, but the outside's where all the nutrition is, so I don't, I don't do that. So we're gonna slice in an angle to give it a nice, Ooh. you know. At the surface area. More surface area, more surface area. Means more contact with the pan. More contact with the pan means. More color. More color and more color means. More flavor. Yes. <laughs> and yeah. it looks cool. Gerber says designated driver for the next nine months. Woohoo! Yeah, I know, right? Thank you, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, keep going. But I also get to use the excuse anytime I'm hungry. Zach, the baby's hungry. I need you to make it some food. <laughs> uh -huh. She has it's used great. that multiple times today. Yeah, you know what he gave me? Pretzels. That's nice. That's what you asked for. That's all I could eat. <laughs> okay. I'd still warm it up. Finally chopped this ginger, which I've already taken off the... Zach, for those just joining us, can you say again what we're making tonight? Uh, coconut curry noodle dish with a bunch of vegetables. <laughs> Is there any meat in it? No meat. So actually this meal's vegan because we're using coconut milk, right? The noodles are egg noodles. So Ooh. I just don't use egg noodles and yeah, I, I would say it's vegan. Yep, I'm not using anything else. So yeah, change the noodles to to from egg to I guess water, non-egg. Non non-egg, <laughs> rice noodles. I bet would be good. Yeah, rice noodles. Yeah, rice noodles will be the, your perfect uh, substitute. Okay. All right. Now that that's been warming up nicely, avocado oil. We want to get, the zucchinis are going to take the longest, plus those things need to be cooked the most. You don't think the carrots will? Well, I'll put those in shortly afterwards, but oh, oh! Ooh, 
Kara, twinsies. Kara made a stir fry tonight and added coconut milk in. There you go. So good. Kara, what seasonings did you use? Did you do a curry or what way did you go? Southeast Asian? Traditional? Give it a quick season. Does it feel dark in here? I feel like it's dark. I feel like our lighting person's screwing around. Willow? <laughs> Willow, let's screw around less. Alright, now, peel that garlic. Already giving it a nice little bash. Okay, okay. Ooh, my garlic's getting a little green. Apparently it's not good when it does that. It means it's germinating. Good. It's alive. That's, yeah, that's what Brad says. Brad, it's alive. Yeah, good. It's alive. <laughs> it's going to add some extra. All right. Fine. Matt, we just said it. The Gerber ask? Yeah. We're Gerber making... doesn't read, listen, hear. One more time Talk for the people well. in the back, babe. For the people in the back, we're making a curry, uh, a coconut curry dish with eggs and vegetables. It's like a stir fry with coconut curry. Okay. Then last. What is that? A poblana? This is a poblana pepper, so we're going to go ahead and just. Is take, it spicy? Can be, yes. Oh. Take out the inside. Compost? Composted. Compost, compost. And we want nice rings here, so. Ooh. Questions, comments, concerns? Yeah, a lot of concerns coming in. Well, luckily I don't answer concerns. <laughs> no, there's no concern. So something cool we did today is one of our neighbors on just like the neighborhood listserv, they were giving away um, a free horseshoe set, like the full on wooden pits and you know, all that fun stuff. So we got some horseshoes. So we're gonna be really good at horseshoes by the end of this quarantine. We're just I'm really we're just preparing for the greatest grill and shell of all time. So just mark your calendars, okay? For the day that we don't know yet. Yeah. Just like clear all your weekends. <laughs> clear every weekend. Don't worry. As though we're worry. not getting out of this. <laughs> Alright, so let's just let that go for just a couple more seconds. Um these are sweet potatoes. Are you not drinking tonight? Not drinking tonight. Wow. No. Nope. I drank yesterday. Not today. Just don't really feel like drinking today. <laughs> okay, Zach, question for you. Okay. If you had to choose between bagels or donuts, which would you have? Depends what donuts you're talking about. Paula's donuts from Buffalo? Probably going to be almost any donut. I mean, um, bagel. It's a general question. And this goes out to the people, too. Which one would you rather... I'm just going to generalize. If you could only have one for the rest of your life, bagels or donuts, what would it be? I know my answer. Okay, let's go ahead and add carrots. I know what your answer is. You think I'd you know the only answer, but you don't. Well, it should be because you say it's your favorite food. It so. is. <laughs> I'd probably, if overall, probably bagels. Donuts are my favorite food, but bagels are more versatile. I can't put tuna salad on a donut. No, you I can't. guess you could. But I have never tried it. I will say I did touch pepper, so I probably should have washed my hands immediately. But we're gonna exact wash them. You know what's happened to right. me before. 
Touch your eyes. He was mid meal cooking when I was cutting up jalapenos and he touched his eyes. This is not what he lived in. And he took a shower with milk. <laughs> we were pouring milk into his eyes. I mean, this was just a hot mess. It wasn't good. Let's just be totally honest with each other. Oh, yeah. Get that going. Wow, fancy boy. Then add the ginger and the garlic. Oh my gosh, there's so many comments. I can't believe I didn't. Oh, sorry, You haven't guys. been reading comments? It's too curry because of the old stomach. Okay, sorry, guys. Shut your mouth when you're talking to me, Calvin. It's a Where did you get that pepper? I've never bought one of those. A poblano? Roots uh, has them. I've definitely got them at, like, yeah, Roots or Mom's. I feel like I've seen them in, like, a Giant or a Safeway before. Uh, Chase, let's, let's not forget who won that first game of horseshoes. Yeah, Chase whooped. So the roommate did beat me. I went up 2 nothing, and then he went on an 11-1 run and beat me 11-3, so... It wasn't the greatest game of all time. Gerber says we need a walk. Which, that's a really... I agree, but the problem is, is how do you do a walk on an electric... Would... It's gotta be done. I mean, wow. I'll, get a, I'll get a walk if I can put it outside. I, I mean, I can cook outside. Team Donuts, I think, won. Chase's Donuts, Laura's Donuts. Damn, Donuts. I, like, would die for a good donut. Like, uh, like Paulus. Anyone from Buffalo on right now? They could they would have my back Stacey's right on. Who? Stacy. All right, well, Stacy knows about Paulus then. Stacy, are you a believer in Paulus Donuts, or are you more of a bagel gal? Or is she a Tidbits? Tidbits? Dunkin' Donuts. Uh, yeah, Dunkin' Donuts. No, Tim Hortons. Why did I say Dunkin' Donuts? Tim Hortons, tidbit. Alright, give that a couple more seconds. I hope everyone was able to go outside today. It was absolutely gorgeous. Cheryl says, we're here, we're here. Hey, Cher. Hey, Nikki. Hey, Jacob. Alright, yeah, that's coming out nice. Got some good color on here. Hmm. Everyone, just take a quick smell. Oh, it smells so good. Hmm. The smell is amazing. Cheryl, do you guys have um, gas or whatever the other thing is, electric? So, now we're going to add some tomato paste. we got to cook that out. And Chase, you're absolutely right. We are going to make homemade donuts. Yeah. What is that, babe? This is tomato paste. It's oh. just a really... Is there any way you can move the olive oil or the um? Thank you. Add that. Put that right in the center. Like I said, we're gonna cook that up. That's gonna help thicken the sauce. And then some curry. And that's just curry paste. What's cooking? Just joining. We're making a coconut curry with. Mixed vegetables and rice, babe? No, egg noodles. Egg noodles. I'll let that warm up, get it nice and whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Justin, I saw all your posts from um, Munich today and it brought me back. We literally did every single thing that you guys did. Now mix it up, get that all covered. That's great. Now that it's kind hey, of cooked Christina. down. Get that all over those vegetables. Gas, baby, yeah. Oh my gosh. Zach and I want gas. We're thinking about installing a propane tank outside of our house just so we can have a Or gas just an day. induction. I want an induction. Yes, Jacob, they are poblanos. Can you show that curry container, the label? It's gone. It's in the trash. Yeah, the curry, it's just a... Yes, Justin, it is blue apron. Clear, yes. <laughs> Cheryl said, I'm pretty sure I've got a 45 minute lag right now. <laughs> Damn. That sucks. <laughs> oh, what was it, Justin? Thoughts? Coconut. Tips on what you would do differently? Oh my god, this one's way better than our. Okay, so in other news, I broke. I, I broke our um, 
Oh, I didn't break it actually. It kind of just broke by itself. So let's go ahead and add that coconut. Yes, I broke the can opener. Can opener. Trying to open up a freaking chicken for our cats because they're growing up everywhere or something, right? Ooh, yeah. And uh, it broke on me, and I so we got a new one. And let me tell you, that was worth it. This thing is way better than whatever the hell we were using before. All right, now rice vinegar. Gotta add that acid. Oh, the smell. Oh, wow, that is balanced. It smells so good. <laughs> um, Jacob is saying, when are you going to start taking requests? I've taken requests. I'll, I'll take requests. Uh, I've done, my only request I've done so far was from Dan Myers. And I made... Um, carbonara, which carbonara. so good. Yeah, I made carbonara for him. But yeah, I'll take requests. I mean, just remember that, like, you know, it's got to be something we can get easily from our local Safeway and not be completely sold out with the way that this world's been lately. I mean, not now, just, all right, just give a little bit of it. It's 7.15 in New Jersey. Whoa, time change. <sighs> a little bit of salt to it. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. Dustin said his um, poblano got moldy, so he inserted jalapenos instead. That we have, we have jalapenos, I guess we could do that. Oh, no, no, shoot. babe, I can't. Nine minutes. All right, so that's probably been there for... Sunday sauce. Zach doesn't love Sunday sauce. I love Sunday What's sauce. What's Sunday sauce? It's red sauce. It's like pasta sauce that you make all day. Oh, I like that. What are you talking about? My grandma makes the best. She really does. She makes the best meatballs. Putinesca, oh my goodness. Oh, I love Putinesca. She looks at Simmer for five days. And we make scallops. Yeah, I could do scallops. I wouldn't say I'm the biggest fan, but you know what? I think I need to just broaden my palate. It's pretty broad. You make the best Sunday sauce, Jacob, or scallops? Toilet, Cheryl said toilet paper cord on blue. Mmm, <laughs> that sounds good. You know what I'm really just craving right now is like a big, juicy Italian sub. Oh, dude, that's my favorite food on earth. Really? Would that be your last meal? From Twinbrook Deli, probably. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. If any of you ever come down to Rockville, or live in Rockville, and you've never had their subs, figure it out. Aren't they under new management though? Yes, actually, yes. Someone ju um, they just sold in December to a husband and wife, and uh, they're very nice. And, and everything's part still the same, real good. Uh, it's good. The only thing that changes is the owners, but otherwise it's fine. It's Justin good. Hall wants to know if you can come prepared with a joke for every live. Okay, from now on I'll have a joke for every live. Chase, we're going to take you to... Um from Rick Deli. I can't believe we haven't yet. Well, I mean, obviously, it's are weird times, but they yeah, we'll it. take you. So good. Yeah. So what's new with everyone else? Obviously, you guys know our news. What's new in your lives? Zach, I've got a joke for you. Okay, wait, we got a roommate joke. All right, Chase, what's your joke? What can sink the unsinkable? I've already got that. Yes, but they don't. Okay. All right, guys, did you hear that? What can well, I mean, it's not really a joke. It's more of a riddle. What can sink but I like it. the unsinkable? It's a joke riddle. It's a, it's a riddle joke. It's a riddle joke. It's a Tom riddle. Harry Potter. <laughs> <laughs> What can sink the unsinkable? No, no guesses. What's the Damn, answer? Damn, well, I'll just give a hint that someone's got to give us All one. Alright, give us a hint. The hint is it's happened in real life. An iceberg. There you go. Is that really it? Yeah, that's right. Sink okay. the unsinkable. <laughs> cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool story, Hansel. Cool, cool. This is looking 
get it. And I for yeah, Justin got it. Come on. Alright. Egg noodles. In. in. I know, that's what I'm thinking. Home Depot. <laughs> Home Depot? <laughs> Home Depot. Lots of sinks. Huh? Lost sinks. Lots of. Oh, lots of. So I'm turning the pan to keep the pasta from sticking to the pan and I'll break it up, keep it from sticking to itself. Ah, la la la. Now we're gonna bring that up to a bowl real quick. This egg noodles, they're fresh, so they're only gonna take two to three minutes to cook. Mm. Now we're about three minutes away from this being done. And I'm gonna give it a quick taste. Oh my gosh. Bring it over here. Can we smell it? Mmm. Just a touch more pepper. Zach, Jacob wants to know what meats would you use to make your own Sunday sauce? I know my answer, but what's your answer, babe? What meat? Probably pork and lamb. Oh, okay. Yeah, pork and lamb probably. I would do pork and beef. Ollie. <laughs> she eh, eh. she knows she's been caught. I assume that that's boiled and ready. Jacob, what do you use for your Sunday sauce? Aggressive. What cuts? <laughs> Wick says duck. Only duck. Oh, he's asking what cuts I would use? Yeah, what cut? Of the lamb and of the pork. Jeez, I don't know. Jeez, I don't know, yeah. Uh, ground up chuck. <laughs> I think that's actually only in, um, I think chuck's only in beef. Uh, Why lamb? I don't know, I, I, love, I just love lamb. Lamb tastes good to me. All right, this is done, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn it off the heat, remove it. Look at that, it's thickened up beautifully. I mean, that is like a soup now, or a stew. Yummy. Ooh, look at that. Just take a look at it. Holly. And then these are pretty much done. I'll just go ahead and just use this and break it up. Hi, Riley. Jacob says today it's chicken tomato sausage, beef underblade, and turkey legs. Well, he's Wally also a professional chef, so he knows what he's doing. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, do you have a reservation? Ma'am? She does, for three. <laughs> ma'am? No, four. Ma'am? All four. I need you to leave, please. You can come sit in my lap. <laughs> that table is available. Would you All just right. look at that? <laughs> Done. <clears throat> We've got the pasta bowls. I hope everyone has gotten their pasta bowls because yeah. they're the best bowls. Divide the noodles. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna nine. say, that's not gonna work for us over Maybe here. Maybe one extra. That's nice. For the baby. Oh, you get two. <laughs> Actually, this will be mine now. <laughs> Guys, so our roommate Chase, lovely Chase, he said, since we can't do 
normal, like, you know, fun baby stuff, we have decided we're going to do our gender reveal on Facebook Live during one of these things. So stay tuned for that. We don't know how Chase is handling that. We're very excited. But, um, okay. Jacob says, normally I do a variation of meatballs, braised beef, oh my god, and sausage, obviously, but you can use almost anything. I was thinking about healthy with chicken and turkey, yeah, so my wife doesn't become obese. Ouch! I hope she's not watching this. Um, no, but that makes sense. Don't waste this sauce. Thanks, Jacob. What did he say? Congrats, by the way. Thank you. All right. We are finito. Wait, no, we're not. Is there a garnish? Is it garnish? I love a good garnish. Send that over here. Uh, yes, please. Sesame seeds. Black and white sesame seeds. Give that a nice... Kiala. From a height. <laughs> Why from a height? Yeah. Because then it gets more of a plate. And it looks cool when I'm just like... I agree, oh, Cheryl. Oh. We need to zoom it up with all of the cousins. Oh, Lord, there's a lot of sesame seeds. But who doesn't like sesame seeds? People that are allergic to sesame. Ooh, that's a thing. It's gotta be. People are allergic to grass. That sucks. <laughs> sucks. I just cut the grass yesterday and it was amazing. All right. Guys, we have also like the nicest neighbor ever. We just met him yesterday. He's great. Okay, Zach, take your first bite. Tell us how it is. What do you think I should eat it with a spoon or a fork? Fork, you crazy boy. You can't <laughs> eat noodles with a spoon. I know. Chopsticks. I could use chopsticks, but I've gone too far now. All right, which one do you want? I don't care. I'm just gonna eat this one. Okay. I'll probably have that one too. What'd you say? I don't know. So we got noodles. Oh yeah, poblano. He's an animal, ladies and gentlemen. Thoughts? Mmm. So good. It's really good, it's got a lot of heat. Uh oh. I hope you like hot stuff, baby. Oh, yeah. The Am I going to cry? No, it's just the curry is coming through. <laughs> I used the whole thing. That's nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's very good. Excellent news. All right, guys. We'll see you later. See you later. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining.